As we continue to extend our lifestyles and communities into the forested and grassland areas of the country, we become more exposed to the danger of wildfire. Living where wildfires can occur puts our homes at risk, but it is possible to live safely and resiliently with wildfire. Fire Smart principles are designed to mitigate a home's vulnerability by taking proactive action on our properties to reduce wildfire risks. Homes ignite due to the condition of the home and everything that surrounds it out to 100 meters from the foundation. This is called the Home Ignition Zone. Let's check in with the residents of Aspen Street in the community of Little Blue to see the proactive steps they're taking within their Fire Smart Home Ignition Zone. Hi, I'm Levi. I've lived in this house for over 25 years. Wildfire seasons are starting earlier, lasting longer, and are more intense. We need to take action. Residents in the community next to us were evacuated last week and suffered devastating loss. We need to take ownership of our part in the overlapping home ignition zones in our neighborhood. Starting with the most critical zone, the non-combustible zone, which should be a minimum 1.5 meter non-combustible surface around your entire home. I've cleared the vegetation and combustible material around my house down to bare mineral soil, including combustible debris from under my deck. Hi, I'm Sandy. Priority Zone 1 is between 1.5 and 10 meters from your home. To create a landscape that will not easily allow fire to reach our homes, my husband and I moved our renovation materials out to Priority Zone 2, breaking them into small organized piles. Firewood piles have been moved to Priority Zone 2 and patio furniture into the shed. We also plan to incorporate some fire-resistant landscaping products into our yard. Howdy, my name is Colin. I've been working in Priority Zone 2, 10 to 30 meters from your home. The trees of the vast forested landscape that our homes back onto need to be pruned to 2 meters to prevent fire from climbing the trees. Keeping fire on the ground will make it much easier for firefighters to manage. Hi, I'm Alex. I've been busy in Priority Zone 3, which is 30 to 100 meters from my home. To create a fire break, we've hired a professional arborist to come in and thin out the thick spruce trees we have in Zone 3. I'm also going to prune the remaining spruce trees up to 2 meters and clear the dead and down woody debris. In subdivisions like Aspen Street, Priority zones can overlap. It is important to talk to your neighbors and identify ways that you can work together. We've all taken one small action on our properties, but we need to do more, and we need to do it together. I say we contact our local fire department and see what else we can do. Agreed. Agreed.